You know, just talking about evolution in medicine, I, I've often reflected on the fact that I've devoted my life to working against Darwinian evolution. You know, I've devoted my life to caring for some tiny, pathetic little babies who, frankly, according to any evolutionary thinking, were unfit to survive. And yet that's what medicine's all about. It's, it's this view that human life is precious, human life is, spe is special. So, you know, medicine acts in a way of, that's very anti-evolutionary. Yes, and that is hugely important. I was listening to Jordan Peterson recently, uh, who's a very interesting thinker, and he has got some lectures on Genesis. And he was talking about the statement in Genesis where God says, let us make men and women in our own image. And he paused and he said, look, this is the cornerstone of civilization. And we neglect it at our peril. You see, your care, John, for those babies, and I remember when I first came across your work and I was deeply impressed by it. I even visited you in hospital when I was doing <laughs> my degree in medical ethics. That is so consistent with the idea that those babies, that's human life. What is human life? It's made in the image of God and therefore it's infinitely precious. And that is where a large part, it would seem to me, of our deep-seated values come from. As Tom Holland, interestingly enough, has reasserted very powerfully in his book Dominion, which I've been enjoying recently. And I think more and more evidence is coming to light with people discussing the past to show us just how deeply this Judeo-Christian idea that we're made in the image of God resonates with us as human beings. And therefore, when it comes to the problem of pain and suffering, I think it is at least a trigger to say we need to take what the Bible says about the problem of suffering, perhaps more seriously than we have done, what is its attitude to the whole question?